Load the Dice is leading the post spread for the 22nd Pepsi North America Cup. Dave Miller driving, trained by Chris Ryder for Brittany Farms Daisy Acres, with a mark of $151, $104,000 in earnings. Load the Dice and Dave Miller, post one. John Campbell drives number two, Cam Spool, conditioner Brett Pelling, for Jeffrey Snyder, Lothlorien Equestrian Center, winning two of eight this year, taking a mark of 150 and four, banking $59,000 plus to Cam Spool and John Campbell. Elimination winner number three, Runover Feeling, trained by Kelly O'Donnell for Jack Tremonte at Mullinax. Luke will add in the bike with a mark of 150 flat, taken here at Woodbine, Runover Feeling three, and Luke will add. Number four is Stonebridge Regal, fastest mark in the field this year, winner of 9 and 12, trained co-owned by Bob McIntosh. W Springtime Stables, Robert Kaufman, Angie Stiller with Jack Moiseev for Stonebridge Regal. Five is Rock and Roll Hanover. His mark at two was a world record here at Woodbine in last year's Metro, 149 and four, undefeated in four this year. Conditioner Brett Pelling for Jeffrey Snyder, Lothlorien Equestrian Center, Brian Sears to drive five, Rock and Roll Hanover. Six, Gold Dust Beach. Trained by Joe Siegman for Lyndon Lee DeVisser Corporation, a winner of two and six this year. Steve Condren, the 1989 winner of this event, with goalie Jeff in the bike of six, Gold Dust Beach. Randy Waples, driving trainer Bill Elliott for leading example stable, this year's Burlington Stakes and Provincial Cup winner at Windsor, taking a 151 mark. Number seven, leading example for Cup 22, and Randy Waples. The eight is Tidewater, trained by Bill Elliott for owner Tony Cheravelli. Winner of one and three this year with a mark of 152 and three. Ron Pierce picks up the drive. Fourth in his elimination was number eight, Tidewater. Entering the track is number nine, IC. Co-owned by former NHL player Paul Isabart. The co-owners are Cliff Grundy, CSX, Bob McIntosh Stables. Also trained by Bob McIntosh, Chris Christopheru is in the driver's seat. A winner of 5 and 12 this year and 11 of 12 top three finishers on his card in 2005. Number nine is IZ. And completing the Pepsi North America Cup field is American Ideal. Conditioned by Casey Coleman for McNichol, Brittany Farms. Mark McDonald in the bike. A winner of three and six this year and seven of 13 lifetime. $106,000 plus. Hard closing third in his elimination last week. Number 10, American Ideal and Mark McDonald. There, ladies and gentlemen, is the field for the 22nd renewal of Canada's richest annual harness race, the $1.5 million Pepsi North America Cup from Woodbine. Added Superfecta on this event. Superfecta, in addition to the rolling pick three, exactor, triactor, win place and show. Post time at 9.40 p.m. Sixth race, the 2005 22nd Pepsi North America Cup, and they're off. Leaving along the inside is Runover Feeling. Rock and Roll Hanover taking measure. Stonebridge Regal out very fast. Off stride is Load the Dice. Cam Spool comes away in fourth. Leading example is going to tuck over in fifth position. And waste away in sixth was Gold Dust Beach into the first turn. Tidewater, seventh at the outside. Load the Dice, back down pacing in eighth. Second to last is IZ and American Ideal was tenth. It's a front end battle that's on. Stonebridge Regal is going to eventually release. The race favorite, Rock and Roll Hanover, 25 and 4. Two ticks away from the fastest cup first quarter in history. Rock and roll Hanover. His to win or lose, and he dictates the pace from here. Stonebridge Regal came away in second. Runover feeling his third. Cam Spool, very uh, bully there on John Campbell. He demanded to be brought out from fourth. Leading example wants cover. He's second out from fifth. Tidewater, sixth on the outside. Gold Dust Beach is seventh. Load the dice is eighth. American Ideal is ninth. Icy, tenth on the outside. 54 and three. They made the halfway point a modest second. 
second quarter of 28 and 4. Rock and Roll Hanover has Cam Spool first over and Stonebridge Regal in the box and the hard closing leading example position second over onto the final turn. Run over feeling following along in fifth. Tidewater sixth on the outside. Seventh on the outside spotted fourth over is Load the Dice. Then Gold Dutch Speech, American Ideal. IZ was tenth on the outside. Rock and Roll Hanover and Cam Spool. Stonebridge Regal and leading example. Tidewater on the outside. 123 and 4 and down the stretch in the 22nd renewal of the Pepsi North America Cup. He was no one hit wonder. This is rock and roll. Make it rock and roll. Hanover. Rock and roll. Hanover totally rocked the house at Woodbine to defeat Stonebridge Regal. Run over feeling. Cam School was fourth. 149 and 4. And it was all rock and roll. Hanover. student rock and roll Hanover Brian uh, at the end of the last season uh, talk about how you uh, were feeling about knowing that you were going to get the drive on this colt this year well um, you know I was hoping to get the drive on that colt when he come back and um, everything worked out and uh, just happy to be driving him up until this point he hasn't hit a bump in the road this year and that includes tonight uh, clear sailing all the way yeah he's a real strong strong horse and uh, he, get, he gets respect that he deserves and um, you know you could probably think about the tactics a uh, hundred times, and you probably come up with a hundred different trips in the back of your mind. Uh, is that the way you wanted things to work out tonight, being controlled like you were? Yeah, I mean, the trip worked out uh, the best that it could possibly work out for me. I really didn't know. Out of the gate, you know, I was going to leave hard and see what happened. Didn't know how many horses were going to be leaving outside of me, and then just play it from here, by here from there. Brian, the cold has not only matured this year, but uh, yourself as well. You had a fantastic season last year, but... Uh, it's something to drive in $100,000 stake races. It's something else to drive with a million and a half on the line, knowing you're three to five in the race. Yeah, um, you know, it, um, it's, it's been fun. I've been enjoyed it all, and um, look, look for more chances like that. All right, we'll look for you in about a month's time in the Meadowlands Pace. Thank you very much. Brian Sears gets it done. A little bit of rock and roll here in the winner's circle as Rock and Roll Hanover's the king of Pepsi North America Cup number 22. In the Woodbine Infield Winner's Circle, the official trophy presentation is being made by Jessica LaCroix, Council General of the United States, by David Wilmot, Chairman and Chief Executive Officer of Woodbine Entertainment Group, with assistance from Ty Domi of the Toronto Maple Leafs. Our special thanks to Jessica LaCroix, David Wilmot, and Ty Domi for making the official presentation of the 22nd Pepsi North America Cup to the connections of official winner, Rock and Roll Hanover.